Hello, people, and thank you for joining me. And I appreciate all my uh, blood brothers and sisters for all that you do. We need to stick together for our survival. And I will do the best I can to explain this. Um, this Egyptian picture shows, you know, the fountain of youth. This is where you got to drink from the living waters at the center of the flat earth plain. This would be like the division symbol. You know, as above, so below the two suns. And, um, you know, you're basically living in a black hole, a computer simulation. It's one light hole and one black hole on infinite loop. Jesus is the sun. Jesus can't save you. You have to save yourself. You know, the sun must place its light in the hole at the center of the flat earth plane. And through that transaction is the ass trailing jet, the aurora borealis where it comes shooting out. You know, it'd be like the memory of the earth, the goddess. Goddess feminine. Um, it's really not what you believe. You know, it's, you know, what your intentions are. What do you intend to do about it? You know, uh, your creator gave you that blood to make an atonement for your filthy soul. You need to write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all and release us all from bondage. I mean, all you have to do is pinprick your finger or wait till your next boo-boo and just smear a little bit <coughs> of your blood on it over your written words and publish a little video to YouTube with the title Blood Over Intent. You tag it Blood Over Intent and this, the description of Blood Over Intent. It's really that simple. There's no way to fuck this up. Your creator wants proof of life, and um, this is the only way. You know, I uh, I think I even had a picture of uh, something on a board that my boss had, and it says, All I have seen teaches me to trust the creator for all I, that I have not seen. You know, if you want the eyes to see, um, you know, you have two eyes to look and one to see. And... Um, you know, you think the sun's 93 million miles away when in fact, you know, it's right over there. It's local. The white sun spirals in and out, bringing in the seasons. It's uh, approximately 32 nautical miles in diameter. And at high noon, it's roughly 3,100 miles away from you. The black sun is about 800 nautical miles and it's fixed at the center of the flat earth plane. The Holy Grail of everlasting life is at the center of the flat earth plane. I mean, if you can't see it, there's no curve. You have to be blood thick with Satan to enter this holy place. It's that simple. Corinthians 4.4 4 states, Satan owns this world. And what is the other one? Hebrews 9.22. In fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness and you think you're sinless and that's not the case you sin every day you need to make an atonement for your sins you know ask for forgiveness and the only way to do that is with your blood the holy grail is right over there where the aurora borealis comes out at the end of your compass, all compasses point north. Um, the Polaris, the North Star, it doesn't move. That's also fixed. All the stars revolve around that. It's not moving and neither are you. It's always going to be there for the rest of your life. So, you know, all the music tells you your blood, your blood. Um, this is not your home. We don't belong here. Uh, you know, heaven's right over there. Heaven is a place on earth. You know, um, at, what is it? Uh, Guns and Roses. Welcome to the jungle. You're in the jungle, baby. You're going to die. You know, everyone's afraid to die. But if you want to live and you want your everlasting life, 
We're going to get our eternal life. There's no way to stop it. See this right here? You need to drink from the living waters at the center of the dish. And you can't get there unless you're blood thick with Satan. Period. That's the way it is. You know, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. Your body's somewhere else. This shows you your bodies are somewhere else. You want to get back to that place? This is the only way to do it. You know, find your heart. Learn to love. Stop the hate and the fear. It's, it's that simple. You know, money and time are a virus, you know. Every word you speak is a magic spell. You know, you went to school to learn your book of the dead. You're in hell right now. I mean, why would you want to stay here? You're forced to do everything. You're forced to do this. You're forced to do that. What kind of life is that? Everything you know is is the re reverse of the truth. You know, you didn't get any education. I don't care what kind of degree you have. It's indoctrination. You're forced to learn all this shit and it's all memorizing stuff. The, you didn't learn nothing. You know, when you have the ears to hear and listen and the eyes to see, this place is not what you think it is. And, um... You know, you need to do selfless acts of kindness and not be a selfish bastard and greedy and it doesn't matter what you believe. It's what did you intend to do about it? You know, reverse speech is truthful. You know, you say God bless you, it says we shall die. You say fuck you and someone gets offended and it what they're saying is wake up. And you tell someone to do research and they're like, well, what proof do you have? Do your own research. What do you want me to tell you? You know, it's you either wake up and get your everlasting life or you don't. You either become blood thicker than water or you don't. If you want to join us, this is the only way. I suggest you type into your computer blood over intent and see all of us spilling our blood over our intent to bring forth heaven on earth. It's right over there at the end of your compass. All compasses point to the center of the dish. You live under a dome. They're at this flat, stationary, fixed level. There's no way to screw it up. All the giant trees were cut down, which you think are mountains, like the Devil's Tower. The Suez Canal is like 100 miles long. It's sea level. There's no gates or locks there. You know, water dictates level. Anyone that's in construction can use a level, and if you're fucking spinning on anything, that level ain't gonna work. So, no one landed on the moon. The moon is its self-illuminating disk. It's like the rib of the Earth. And space don't exist. You know, there's water above and water below. You ain't getting out, and nothing gets in. You wanna get out of this place? I suggest you spill your blood. That's all you have. That's your spiritual currency. So, everyone's doing their own thing and they're distracted by everything. Everything's a distraction. You need to wake up. And if you don't, that's on you. You get to make your own choices. So, have a good day, and thank you for joining me.